Magandang buhay! Welcome back to our virtual class. I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual teacher. Are you ready for next lesson? You are expected to identify the materials that undergo decay, describe the kind of materials that undergo decay, and classify the materials whether they decay or do not decay. But before we start our discussion, let's have first our virtual class rules. First rule, listen carefully in order to understand the lesson. Second rule, make sure to have your notebook with you all the time so you can jot down ideas and important information about our lesson. Third rule, if you can't understand some part of the lesson, you can always watch the video again. Are you ready? Let's do this. Read the questions carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one. Which of these materials will decay fast? A mango. B. Cabbage. C. String beans. You only have 10 seconds to answer the question. The correct answer is letter B. Number 2. Which of these will not undergo decay? A. Eraser B. Meat C. Banana Which of these will not undergo decay? A. Eraser B. Meat C. Banana Your time starts now. <laughs> Answer is letter A, eraser. Number three, which material will most likely undergo decay? A, aluminum foil. B, soup. C, water. Which material will most likely undergo decay? A, aluminum foil. B, soup. C, water. Your time starts now. <laughs> The correct answer is letter B, soup. Number four, waste should be segregated into blank groups. A, decaying and non-decaying. B, hard and soft. C, small and big. Waste should be segregated into blank groups. A, decaying and non-decaying. B, hard and soft. C, small and big. Your time starts now. <laughs> Correct answer is letter A. Waste should be segregated into decaying and non-decaying groups. Number five. Your mother bought fish for your lunch. Suddenly, your aunt invited your family for lunch for a birthday celebration. What will your mother do to preserve the fish? A. Just leave the fish on the table. B. Return to the cellar. C. Refrigerate the fish. Your mother bought fish for your lunch. Suddenly, your aunt invited your family for lunch for a birthday celebration. What will your mother do to preserve the fish? A. Just leave the fish on the table. B. Return to the cellar. C. Refrigerate the fish. Your time starts now. The 
correct answer is letter C, refrigerate the fish. So our lesson for today is about the materials that undergo decay. Let's have a memory test. Are you ready? Write F if the material flows and S if the material sinks. Number one, rubber slipper. Your time starts now. Rubber sleeper floats. Letter F. Number two, lift. A lift. Your time starts now. A lift floats. Letter F. Very good. Next. Metal spoon. Metal spoon. Sink. Letter S. Next. Number four. Rubber ball. Your time starts now. Rubber ball floats. Letter F. Number five, necklace. Your time starts now. Necklace. Sink. Letter S. Very good. Who get a perfect score? Very good! Now let's learn about decaying materials. What is decaying materials? Decaying materials is also called biodegradable materials o mga nabubulok na mga bagay. Examples Fruits Vegetables, bread, meat, chicken, soup, fish. The process of decay is not uniform among plants and animals. Some materials will decay fast and some will take a long time. The organic matter in the soil comes from decayed plants and animals. It becomes organic fertilizer. Organic fertilizer from compost peat enriches the soil supplying nutrients for plants growth. Factors that contribute to the decaying process of the materials are sunlight, water, soil, and microorganisms. Again, what are the factors that contribute to the decaying process of the materials? Sunlight, water, soil, and microorganisms. Decaying materials that are not properly disposed may become breeding pl places of pets such as mosquitoes and flies that cause diseases or sickness to the people like fever, allergy, cholera, malaria, typhoid, and diarrhea. What to do to avoid the decay of a food or delay the spoilage? You are going to keep 
your food in a refrigerator because microorganisms that break down food do not grow fast in cold temperature. Let's try this. Exercise 1. Draw happy face if the materials undergo decay and sad face if does not decay. First, plastic bag. Is it sad face or happy face? Your time starts now. Okay, the answer is sad face. Plastic did not decay. Next, milk. Happy face or sad face? Your time starts now. Answer is milk. Happy face. It will undergo decay. Next, tire. Your time starts now. Answer is sad face. Tire did not decay. Next, sayote. Your time starts now. Sayote, happy face. Sayote will undergo decay. Next, sponge. Your time starts now. Sponge, sad face. Sponge did not undergo decay. Who got a perfect score? Very good! Let's proceed to exercise 2. Identify the materials that undergo decay. We have here empty box, dry leaves, jar, empty can, and mahogany twigs. You are going to identify only the materials that Undergo decay. Your time starts now. The materials that undergo decay are empty box, dry leaves, and mahogany tweets. Who get a perfect score? Good job! Next, list down the materials that you can find inside your house that undergo decay. You have 15 seconds to do your activity. List down materials that you can find inside your house that you think it will undergo decay. Okay. The possible answers are banana peeling, bread, Leftover foods, vegetables or fruits, fish, meat. Next, let's move on to the sorting out materials activity. Look and analyze the following illustrations. The first illustration is the garbage. What we can do with the materials that do not decay. Your time starts now. Sorting 
So you can recycle non-decaying materials such as plastic bottles. Again, you can recycle non-decaying materials such as plastic bottles. The next illustration is a person is putting inside or putting something inside the refrigerator. The question is, why are leftover foods kept in a refrigerator? Your time starts now. The leftover foods are kept in refrigerators to avoid decay or delay spoilage. Next activity is to classify the materials that undergo decay. Letter A, a cheese. B, paper. C, empty can. D, dead animal or dead pig. And E, Tweet. You are going to write only the letter of the correct answer. Your time starts now. So, materials that will undergo decay are letters A, B, letter D, and letter E. Cheese, paper, dead animal, and three twigs will undergo decay. Who get the correct answer? Good job! What have you learned from our lesson? I learned that you are going to follow this format in answering the question. Write your answer in the comment section. Congratulations for a job well done. See you in our next virtual class. If you learned something today, please like and share this video. And those who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe now and hit the notification bell to be updated for more videos of future guides. God bless!